Hello everyone, my name is Anurag Kathane. I am from Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar Technological University. I am pursuing my bachelor's in civil engineering. Currently, I am in second year. This is a presentation on an industrial report we made on an internship we performed. The name of my group members are as follows. Tushar Patil, Humkar Somure, Ishwar Pailavar, Pratik Savargave. So the project details are as follows. It was a residential building project. The project name was Sahara Apartment, which had a built-up area of 16,248 square meter. The project cost was 35 crore and the agency that was building it was Kathiya Construction from Latur. The number of towers that were supposed to be built was 7 with around 150 flats and the duration of our training was from 1st December 2021 to 31st of December 2021. Objective of study to improve the practical knowledge to learn how the structure is constructed within its desired properties to get knowledge about the basics and advanced techniques in building construction to learn how to face challenges during construction that is labor problems cost management environmental challenges etc to gain knowledge from the site like communication skill handling workers working of machine management skill etc to understand how the engineering and professional skills and knowledge can be utilized in industry. Series of activities on site. On the very first day, we had an introductory visit to site. From second to fourth day, there was a study of drawing of building. From fifth to seventh day, it was about the brickwork. From eighth to ninth, it was about plastering, checking of plaster work for aving. From eleventh day to twelfth day, it was about calculation of steel required for one floor. From 13th to 14th day, it was about the reinforcement of column for B wing. On the 15th day, it was about formwork of columns for B4 wing. On the 16th day, it was about concreting of columns. From 18th day to 28th day, it was about formwork of beam and slab. From 21st day to 23rd day, it was about installation of electric conduct and reinforcement of beam and slab on 25th day it was about concreting of slab and beam from 26th day to 28th day it was about foam work and reinforcement of staircase and lift and on the 31st day it was about concreting for staircase and lift description of construction site elements first column this is a structural shaft of concrete which transfers applied vertical loads through its length and its base a column is a vertical structure member which transfers a compressive load. Number of columns provided are very less as compared to shear wall. Secondly, shear wall. This is a reinforced concrete wall that resists the horizontal forces along its length. Shear walls run along the full length of walls. Shear wall cross section is like vertically oriented wide beam. Third, lift shaft. Lifts in buildings are normally totally enclosed by a shaft, typically square or rectangular, that will rise vertically through the building and often terminate above roof level. Two lifts facing each other provided on site, one for regular use and another is one for emergency purpose. Slab This is a horizontal plane like structure, usually of solid concrete reinforced with steel bars to function as a floor or roof structure. Thickness of slab was 135 mm throughout the structure. Beams. These are horizontal structure members that transfer loadings from above to its bearing points, which are on always columns or load bearing size. Staircase. This refers to a series of steps leading from one floor to another. There are different types which include half turn staircase, switchback U shaped, quarter turn staircase, straight staircase, window staircase, curved staircase, spiral staircase, and ladders. There are two staircases, one for regular use and another staircase is for emergency purpose. Regular staircase is dogless type staircase and emergency staircase is quarter turn type staircase. Formwork or shuttering. Formwork in concrete construction is used as a mold for a structure in which fresh concrete is poured only to harden subsequently. The construction of formwork takes time and involves expenditure up to 20 to 25 percent of the cost of the structure or even more. The type of formwork employed always depends on the structural design of the member and the weight of concrete to be casted. 
timber foam work was provided on site. Period of removal of foam work or deshuttering time of different RCC members is given as follows. Walls, columns and vertical side of beams takes 1 to 2 days. Soffit foam work to slabs take 3 days. Beam soffits take 7 days. The period of removal of props to slabs for slabs spanning up to 4.5 meters 7 days. For slabs spanning over 4.5 meters it's 14 days. The period of removal of props to beams and arches. For beams and arches spanning up to 6 meter, it's 14 days. For beams and arches spanning over 6 meter, it's 21 days. Steel fixing. First, steel cutting. Steel must be cut into appropriate sizes in order for it to be used. From the place of manufacture, it comes a 39 feet long steel bar and hence for it to be used on different paths or reinforcement must be cut in different sizes. Secondly, steel positioning. Steel must be placed correctly or the strength of a structure may be greatly weakened. Cover to reinforcement. Cover is the distance from the outside face of the concrete to the nearest surface of reinforcing steel. If this distance is insufficient, the steel will rust. Provided cover for beam was 25 mm. Provided cover for slab was 25. Provided cover for shear wall and column was 50 mm. Concrete. Concrete, a composite man-made material, is the most widely used building material in the construction industry. It consists of rationally chosen mixture of binding materials such as lime or cement, well-graded fine and coarse aggregates, water and admixtures. Production of concrete. Production of concrete including following steps. Batching or measurement of materials, mixing, transporting, placing, compacting, curing, finishing. Reinforced concrete. Reinforced concrete is a combination of traditional cement concrete with reinforcements. This combination is made to utilize the compressive strength of concrete and tensile strength of steel simultaneously. Block work and masonry. Blocks are wailing units that form the vertical elements of the building, meant to enclose and partition the building. They are bound together by mortar and also help to transfer structural road to the foundation and ground. A real proof block lock was used as block lock joining motor for bonding of blocks. Plumbing Plumbing is the process of installing the pipework and other assemblies for a functioning water supply and drainage system. UPVC pipes used for all purposes such as hand wash, basin, kitchen sinks to the toilets, urinals and other areas. CPVC pipes used for hot water supply. Plastering. A finishing is final treatment layer material or coating for a surface. Mortar was used to make the rough cast and plastering but at different mix ratios. The cement used was chetin and cement. Site precautions and safety. Always wear safety gloves, safety boots, overall reflected jacket and a helmet at all times on site to protect yourself from site injuries due to accidents. When climbing a ladder, always ensure it's ready and firm before climbing to protect yourself from falls. When walking on top of shutters, always ensure they are well propped, otherwise you might pass through and fall down. Always curve sharp nails on shutters and on cut timber pieces to avoid stepping on them. Observations I observed that welfare of the worker was so poor at the site, as they could buy their own wood, water, poor security for their property and inadequate toilet facilities. This was likely to cause demotivation at the site. Another observation was that safety of workers at the site was compromised as most would work without gum boots, gloves and helmets. And this was put them at risk to injuries. Observe the size of riser in staircase was not seen everywhere. This might be a disservice to the users, especially pregnant women, elderly and children. I also observed that Workers on site have not materials carefully like block joining motor. Large amount of material is wasted by workers on site. Honeycombing of concrete was seen on concrete surfaces due to <coughs> insufficient compaction of concrete. Bulging of column in middle section due to bulking of sand. Poor design and installation of shuttering foam work for a column. Noted observation on site are as follows.
Needle vibrator is used for compaction, UPVC pipes used for hall water supply, CPVC pipes used for hot water supply. Floor to ceiling height was 2.95 meter, lapping length 45T, internal plaster thickness was 10 mm, external plaster thickness was 12 mm, water cement ratio was 0.5, compaction factor was 0.85. Conclusion Internship has boosted my career especially in structures department. It has also given me confidence to face future pro employment opportunities. This increases a lot of confidence as well as positive attitude in students' mind. I also improved communication skill and the time spent on as a trainee engineer is one of the best in my memories. Contact with professions, realities comp that complain, enhance, confirm and reshape knowledge. The period of one month as an industrial training under the guidance of civil engineer I gained lots of information during the training, opportunities for real life work and apprenticeship, chance for career choice through exposure to different work environments and technologies, increased chances of finding work in short time after graduation. Training taught me how to tackle the unexpected problem arise during construction. Thank you everyone.